people see my situation and not think that I'm not high function. What situation? Okay, so I'm not married. I have beautiful children. How many? Eight. By how Eight. many women? Three. And this is the kicker. I want more. By multiple women? What's the intent of this then? How about your wife? I just want God to bring them. Oh, okay. My desire to get married is lower than my fear of divorce. So, as you had said, Dr. Bryan, you said it, I didn't say it, I will agree. I'm just taking my time. You're not taking your time. I am, though. You're being very action-based. You're not taking your time. I'm taking my time. You're being very action-based. You have eight kids yeah. with three different women. Yes. You are creating, procreating, and multiplying. That is not taking your time. You're being very selectively active. Mm. Okay? So you're creating, mm -hmm. in disclaimer, the kids are innocent. They are beautiful and amazing. Anything I say has nothing to do with them babies. But you are proactively choosing active at and where you want to take your time. Mm -hmm. You want to take your time in having a wife because of your own fears. But you will, and I say this with all respect and love, what I'm about to say next, okay, Cam? But you will selfishly create broken families, even if you're in their life and you're a proactive father, and I believe you're an amazing daddy. I can only imagine with just your presence and, and knowing you. But these families are still broken. Every child cannot have Papa in the house with them. So some child, if not all, all will end up with some kind of deficit without daddy being there. Mm -hmm. Now, you chose to do that. I'm not saying you sat there and woke up one morning and said, I want to be selfish today, so I'm going to go make a baby. Not saying that at all. But those are selfish acts at the expense of your fear. And yeah, that is a low functioning behavior to say that I'm going to build these houses and put kids and these beautiful women and kids in them, but I ain't going to create a home in them. I'm going to wait till I dissipate my fear to find a wife where I'm still gonna be fearful with because there's no such thing as not having some type of nerve or some type of feeling behind marrying somebody. And then I'm gonna build a home with her while all these other beautiful babies have houses. That's completely unfair and that's selfish. And, and so, yes, you're taking your time in this department, but you're not taking your time in this department, which means you're compartmentalizing. And compartmentalizing never works. Compartmentalizing hurts everybody involved. Everybody who's in this box and that box and this box and that box and this box. And then here you go over here trying to figure out what box you're going to feed or entertain or do. Then you're looking outside to figure out who is your next victim to put in the box. It's unhealthy. So everybody has seen the interview with Cam Newton and Dr. Bryant. Uh, it's went around the world. Everybody all over social media has been talking about it for the last week or so. And we all know that Cam Newton has eight children uh, by three different women. Um, <laughs> he has four children by Kia Proctor, the woman that he was with for a long time. Well, really five children. He has four biological and then one child uh, that she he takes care of a child that she actually had prior to coming into the relationship. Then he had a uh, a baby with a, a Instagram model uh, chick, and he all and she also has another child that he takes care of. Now he's in a new relationship with a new girl, and they actually have a baby as well. And you know he's been getting a lot of flack online for creating broken homes. Now you know we know that he's a multimillionaire. He's a, a, a highly respected. Uh, football player, one of the best college players, college quarterbacks of all time. He came into the NFL and uh, won an MVP, went to the Super Bowl. Uh, he was a great quarterback in the league. He made a lot of money. And we know we know in the hood, you know, the so-called Pookies and Ray Rays, they have a lot of babies by all kinds of different women, and they don't have no money. So now this guy, he has means. So all of the responsibility is not on him because some of these women is looking for a meal ticket, and they see him as a quick lick. So they run over it, you know, they're going into there. And I wouldn't say really Kia Proctor because she was with him for a long time. She gave him a lot of children. And I, I vehemently disagree with Cam Newton on this. Because no matter how much they try to paint the picture of him being, no matter how much they paint the, try to paint the picture of him being a good dad, when you're not in the house with these children and the children get to see the other children have, have you every day inside the household. It draws resentment within the children and it draws resentment to you. But Kia Proctor, uh, the woman who actually has five children by, she, she, she has now spoken out and she's saying this. Check this out. So after Chosen, which he was born in 2015, I had four more kids 
No, I'm sorry. I had three more kids after him because it's a total of five. So it would be Shakira, Chosen, and then once I started with Chosen, it's Stair Steps. So it was every year I was pregnant for four years straight. So I have Chosen, Sovereign Dior, Comitis, and then Kashmir. So yes, it's a total of five. Uh, looking back at it, I say, I, I don't know how I did it, but hey, I love all my kids. And yes, I, I definitely did that. But I was pregnant for four years straight. Yes, which is kind of crazy, but. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to focus on my career and get something going for myself. And then I ended up pregnant with Kashmir. And then that's when I went through a public breakup. And I, and that was that. And then me and my um, partner, we separated. So I'm a single mom of five. Five kids later, people always ask, oh, why are you, like, what happened with your marriage? Or, like, why are you not in a relationship? And I always say I was never married, but the relationship, I thought it was going towards marriage. And then my partner at the time had an outside baby. And he kind of wanted to force it on me. And I w wasn't really ready to, I mean, I don't really know how to describe this or talk about this. I just... He had a baby outside of our relationship that I was not okay with. And we were not married. So I'm like, if I'm not about to deal with this because I thought this, what we had was something way more special than the way you're treating it. And I felt like I had no choice but to leave. I had to choose me and my kids over what he was about to put me through. So, so here we are. I think the kids are great. Like they're in a great space. I try to, I mean, I don't know. I just try to make sure that they don't go without and that they're good mentally. And we have a great co-parenting schedule. Like we do good with co-parenting. I feel like, I feel like we do the best we can and we make it work. We make it, we make it work for the kids. It has definitely been a work in progress. And I feel like it should get better with time. Just give it time. I feel like everything always gets better with time. You know, as long as the parents are good in a good place, then the kids will be good. So as long as they see a healthy relationship, I feel like that's the best thing you can do. Because the co-parenting schedule, we do week on and week off. We switch every Sunday. It's like I have that week, that free week to myself where I can focus on what Kia wants to do and create all of these things for Kia. Like I started a beauty line, I started this YouTube channel and I have so many more projects that I'm working on. And I have the I have the time to actually do these things. I'm just so excited and I don't like, I feel like nothing's gonna hold me back now because I'm finally at a good place in my life. I did a lot of healing. My kids are older. Kashmir will be five in the end of September. So I'm just excited for me and everything that I have to come. So as I told you guys, I, I'm I'm not a fan of it. And I told y'all, man, listen, casual sex in the black community rules the day. Everybody's just running around doing them. And a lot of I see it, it's broken down into the gender war again. A lot of men are on one side, a lot of women are on, on the other side. But nobody's just on the side of what's right. What's right. These women a lot of these women like Jasmine Brown and the other woman, uh Abajan, Abajan Shaw. And all these women, they know that he's a he's a mill ticket, he's a quick ticket, and they can go have a child by him, and they'll be set up for the next 18 years. We already know this because we know the way the court system works. Now he's saying that um, he doesn't want to get married because he has a lot of resources and he doesn't want to lose his resources. But the child support that you're going to be paying is going to be crazy. So now you're putting babies in these women and creating these homes that you're not going to be in. And I don't understand how anybody could be okay with that. I don't understand why any uh, a lot of these women will be okay with these women just going to get pregnant by these uh, by these men, and knowing that the father's not going to be there. So you're supporting being a single mom, but then you complain about black men creating single moms, but you don't have a problem with Miss Proctor and Jasmine Brown and Miss Shaw. A lot of y'all don't have a problem with these women. Y'all y'all actually uh, uh, cheering it on, and everything that's wrong is Cam. No, there's a lot of women enabling this behavior because they see dollar signs.
So they run right over there. They run right over there, opening legs up. They do the same thing with Future. They run right over there and spread them cheeks. That's what they do. And say, I'm next. But this guy, to me, is very immature. You know, he talks about his father and the way that he was raised. But he's like, what he's doing, his idea, you know, he's just running around doing him having fun. And my whole thing is, if you want to run around, have fun and have sex, have sex. But why, why keep creating these babies? And as I was saying earlier in the video, when you have all these children, you can't be with the, all these children at the same time. I've experienced this. You have children living in one house and you living in another house. You get a wife. Now, now uh, you have children with that woman and you're married to this woman. And th these children can get up out the bed and walk into the room and see you and ask questions and do everything. They don't have to call you on the phone. They don't have to wait till you come over. It builds resentment up in the children. So he can miss me with all, oh, all the children. You know, no, no, it don't work that way. It don't work that way. And all those women are not going to always be cooperative either. It don't work like that. So a lot, a lot of these people is looking at this and they think and they just think that it's okay and it's not okay. So Dr. Bryant was really re, uh, laying into him and, re, uh, and going at him and it's the truth. Because a lot of you brothers out there are side with him, but if that was your daughter, if, 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 if uh, Kia Proctor was your daughter, you would be very upset. So let's stop the hypocrisy, man. Because, yeah, she was wrong for keep dropping those babies because of the idea of being his wife. The idea of living that type of lifestyle. But see, the children, when they go to his house, they go to the mansion. She's no longer in the mansion. She's getting the child support. But she was in love with the idea. So she was allowing him to do the things that he would do because he had the resources, right? But this is the thing. Cam is also responsible too. You mean to tell me when you put baby number one in there, baby number two, you wasn't thinking about marriage? You just around here just slinging, just making these babies and don't want to make none of these women an honest woman? And what type of man are you? And we can come and say that that's okay, but why would that be okay? See, I, I noticed online, a lot of you brothers out there said that 52% of black men are, are, are um, without, without don't have children. Right? A single one don't have children, right? But then you'll a lot of y'all come on here and defend Cam. When he out here, to me, he's just a rich pookie. He's out here just dropping seeds and uh 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 not cre not creating families. But the same thing you'll get on a black woman for uh, being promiscuous, running wild, spreading her cheeks, uh having unrealistic uh uh ideas of relationships, and all these things that y'all get on a black woman for, how can you side with Cam with this? How is how how can it be okay? Why? Because Cam got money. So if Cam didn't have no money, it wouldn't be okay. He would just be a regular Pookie and Ray Ray. But because he got but, but because he has status, y'all defend him? No, man. You can't defend this behavior. Because if it was your daughter, you wouldn't defend it. And let's let's just call it what it is, man. I'm not caping for the black woman because these like I told y'all, a lot of you black women complain about men creating uh sing, uh, uh, uh uh broken homes. And single moms, well, that's what he's doing. That's what these women are signing up to be. Why aren't you condemning that? Y'all, why, why aren't you condemning that behavior? So it's hypocrisy on both sides, man. And that's the way I see it. So Kia Proctor has spoken. Uh, as more of this come out, I'll report more of this. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. And remember, I love y'all. Till the next time, peace.